Welcome back, friends, and welcome back to our 30-day island challenge. We are back on Cobweb for day number five of trying to complete a Halloween island in just 30 days. And like I said, today is day number five. And we are here with Tom Nook, who is telling us resident services is closed, as if we could not see it behind him. But let's just get into the day. There are a couple of things I want to get done today. There's no real exciting things happening on the island today, so we will be doing a little bit of time traveling. But a couple things I want to do today is upgrade the museum. I did off camera yesterday donate a bunch of stuff, and we only need two more things to donate. So I figured we could dig up our fossils today and donate that because I do want to upgrade the museum into the actual building. And then I also want to check Nook's Cranny more regularly to see if we have any items that we can use on the island. Even if they're interior items, we can use them to decorate inside because that is something I want to do on this island and basically have to to complete the challenge. And then last but not least, like the major deal of this video is going to be the campsite. So once we time travel to tomorrow, we should get resident services built and Tom Nook will ask us to participate in Project K, or Project KK, one of those, and it will be to make a campsite. And then we get our campsite villager, who I think we have some smugs that we would like on this island, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, we can build our campsite and see who that is. So let me finish up a couple dailies off camera real quick, and then I'll meet you back here to upgrade the museum probably. That's probably when I'll see you next. I was on this side of the island, so let's go check out what Nook's Cranny has in store today. Ooh, maybe we could use a gas pump? I don't know about the other items. We do have to do interior, so maybe I do want to buy the book and the typewriter, because those would be kind of cute in a house. And honestly, we could put the cat litter box in Bob's house, and that would be really funny, I think. So maybe I'll buy all of this. Yeah, I made up my mind. I am going to buy the cat litter box because if we have cat villagers, I think it's really funny to put them in the house, especially since we have to do their interiors. We can actually make sure that they have one. I think you can also gift it to them and they would use it in their house. So that would be interesting. And then for wallpapers and flooring, I think I'm going to buy this wood flooring or this is a wallpaper. I'm going to buy this wood wallpaper. And then I'm also going to buy the wood flooring this time, actual flooring. And then maybe the red brick one as well. That one's kind of cute. And it's like relatively inexpensive. Plus we have max bell, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll just buy these. And if we don't end up using them, I guess that's fine. And I got, what is that? Six fossils. So hopefully two of these we can assess. Well, I'll assess all of them. But hopefully two of them are unique. They should because I've only donated like six fossils or something so they should be all unique and then that way we can upgrade our museum Ooh, okay every single one is rare so we just have to donate two and then i'll probably put the other ones outside again to try to get to three stars we probably won't actually decorate with the fossils on this island but they are definitely helpful when you're trying to get to three stars. If you have leftover fossils, just place them like all over your island and it really helps with your score. I don't remember which score because you have like industrial, nature, and or structural, something like that. And I don't know which one it helps with, but it definitely helps because they are large items too. And larger items always give you more points because they're like more tiles taken up. So yeah, these are very helpful. Unless they're the small ones, then that's not very helpful. But at least it's an item to place. But yeah, we donated these two, so we should be able to upgrade the museum now. Yes, I think Blathers is telling us, yes, we have all the specimens required to upgrade the museum. So we will have the full museum built. I do kind of miss the like in-between version that they used to have. The one without the banners on the front. And they got rid of that, I think, when they added Brewster and everything. Uh, but I miss that little museum. Wow, this island is so nicely decorated. Look at all these random items we have laying around. It is almost a five-star island. I mean, wouldn't you want to visit this island? <laughs> but anyways, I think that's all we can really do on this day. So let's time travel and we will get resident services built up, which I'm so excited to see Isabel. So let's do it. Wow, we have so many things going on. We have resident services built, which is so cute. I think it will definitely fit more of our town core vibe, 
because the tent didn't really match plus we need all 10 villagers and all of that stuff but anyways we also have mabel on the island so we can buy some clothes and then we only have to invite her well she only has to come to our island one more time after that so that's exciting but yeah our museum is upgrading so that is good it will be in the tent today and then tomorrow it should be built up and then also isabel is here everyone cheer for her isabel oh my gosh i love her she is probably one of my favorite npcs um i think my favorites are flick and flick and leaf but i really do like izzy she has a isabel she has a special place in my heart because our dog is named isabel after isabel but we call her izzy so that's why i just said izzy but yeah super exciting lots of things to do today so let's just get right into it we have a lot to do but first of course we have to check our mail and oh we get i think it's a nook mile ticket for the resident services being closed i think that's all this is yeah a nook miles ticket so that's fine but the first thing i want to do is go to our storage i have it over here somewhere and I want to get out some more wood and iron nuggets because that's what we'll need to build the campsite. And I kind of want to do that first today and then we can go run around and do some, some more of our dailies. But yeah, let me get all these materials and then we'll head over to resident services. Ooh, actually, let's talk to Mabel first because I want to see what clothes she has. We did do a little bit of a shopping spree yesterday on a treasure island for some clothes. But we do still have to buy some stuff from her and there might be some cute things we want i'll buy these shorts and probably the mage's hat i don't remember if i grabbed one of those before but it is a pretty pricey item and i know you have to have a combined total of five thousand dollars in order well five thousand bells obviously um to get her to ask to move onto the island so that should be a big chunk of that because i don't remember how much i used in the last time she was here i'm also gonna buy these striped socks just because they're cute and i can actually see us wearing them so yeah a little extra bells today i'm like running out of bells in my pocket though okay now we can go talk to tom nook let's sit down and chat to tom nook if we ask him what we should do oh he's telling us about our house but if we ask him about what we should do he should tell us about the campsite and this is always like the most nerve wracking part of the game because you can't say no to the campsite villager and basically every other villager you can kind of decide even your starters because if you just don't like them you can just re-roll and try again. But this is like the only villager that you can't decide and it's very annoying because sometimes it takes a while to kick them out. Okay he just gave us the recipe for the campsite so let's craft that bad boy. I did grab all the materials we need already, so we can just craft it now. We don't have to run back to our storage or anything. But this one is pretty easy to build, even though it's literally like half the materials that we used for the shop, which seems like way too much compared to the shop. But I also want to log into the ABD. We should get 500 miles today, which is nice. But I want to expand our pockets, and obviously we will check Nook Shopping and maybe pay off a loan. I think we have a loan to pay off. But this is what I want, the ultimate pocket stuffing. I would love that extra space in my pockets. It really does make a big difference. Let's see what we have for Nook shopping. Still nothing really that I want and no special items or anything. So yeah, that's a bummer. I think we should have a loan, we do. Okay, let's just pay from savings and we'll pay the full amount. And then I think we're getting close to being done. I don't think I'll probably upload, update, up upgrade oh my gosh too many upwards i probably won't upgrade our storage to the max thing i'll probably just upgrade the house to the biggest size because i don't think we'll need all of that space in our storage but i do want to talk to tom nook to upgrade our house again and again i think i'm going to stick to the purple roof because it's been working so well for us so far now let's go place the campsite somewhere i think we can place it right next to the shop it should fit like right here Perfect. Okay. Yep. This is a spot. Awesome. And we also have a bottle on the beach over here. So let's check that out real quick. It's from Kyle. I do like Kyle actually. It's a door plate. Um, we could probably use that. I don't know. And while we're over here, let's go check out Nook's Cranny again. Ooh, they have the fortune telling set. I feel like that's actually really cute. 
Maybe we can make some backstories for our villagers and one of them can be like a little fortune teller or something. That would be pretty cute. I also want to grab the study desk. Oh, I don't have enough money. Dang it. Let's go grab some more bells and come back. But I'm going to buy the study desk and the sink probably for my house. If I make it like a normal home, I can make like a little bedroom with the study desk and like a little cute little bathroom. But yeah, let's go grab some more bells. I came back and bought those two items and now I want to check out the wallpapers. Ooh, I like this one actually. And probably the window one too I'll buy. That was such a weird way to say that sentence. I'll also buy this one. But as for everything else, I feel like I'm getting a lot of kid core stuff. Like this and this. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this wallpaper. It's kind of very bright, but yeah, yeah, not by anything else. And I think with all of that done, we can just go ahead and time skip to the next day. Oh, we get our first little Isabel announcement. It is October 9th of 2022. Yes, my Switch is in 2022 and I'm too scared for my other islands to change it. But for today's announcement, we have our very own museum. I thought she was going to say campsite. I totally forgot about the museum. But yeah, our museum upgraded, which is lovely. And moving on, we also have a campsite. Perfect. I totally forgot about the museum and thought she was only going to tell us about the campsite. But yeah, no visitors today. We will need to time travel again to tomorrow in order to get the campsite. But let's just get right into the day. Oh, I forgot about this. We have to meet a Lottie, which reminds me we have to speed run Happy Home Paradise. I actually totally forgot about Happy Home Paradise for a minute. I know I said earlier in the video that we would do the interiors, but I forgot about the actual pain of having to speed run Happy Home Paradise during these 30 days. And today's already day five, so I don't even think we can, we can do it starting now, right? So we have 25 more days basically in order to finish Happy Home Paradise. Probably sooner than that because we will want a couple days to decorate the interiors of all the houses, including my own house that we have to decorate. But yeah, Happy Home Paradise, here we come. Luckily, I live really close to the airport and it's time to open our mail. We get something from Twiggy for upgrading our house. Um, oh, a ranking. We have a bee house and I don't think we have like any furniture in our house at all. So that's very interesting. Let's see what we got from Twiggy and Happy Home Paradise. Twiggy gave us a coffee grinder. Ooh, that would fit my other island, not this one, and a refrigerator. So if we want to do like a normal house, we can definitely use both of these items in a kitchen. Ooh, I don't know about the yellow version of it though. That's an interesting choice. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, just kidding. I was like, did Twiggy give us the fridge? But no, that was from Happy Home Paradise. I was gonna say Twiggy gave us the yellow fridge because she's yellow, how dare she? But no, that was from Happy Home Paradise. And I don't think I wanna go into the museum, but we do have the museum built. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, exciting. And then I wanna check to see if we have any peddlers here. Ooh, we do have Mabel, so she should- oh. Oh my gosh. I can't- Tammy's gonna talk to us, but- I'm in the middle of talking to Mabel! And Mabel talks for a long time, so Tammy will probably stop. Why did they do this to me? And I can't back out of Mabel at all? But yeah, Mabel's asking us to build a shop for her. Okay, maybe if we do this fast enough, we can still talk to Tammy. Oh, oh my gosh right at the exact point when she gave up talking was when we were done with Mabel. Oh, that was kind of stressful. Okay, let's go place the tailor shop down. The tailor shop is another one that gets put into a little construction site and then the next day is in a um, tent and then you don't get it until the next day. So that's kind of a bummer, but we will definitely have to download a whole bunch of custom designs. That probably won't be in today's video, but I am very excited about it. But yeah, I think this is the spot for the tailor shop. Perfect. Okay, and then while we're over on this side of the island, let's once again check out what Nook's Cranny has. Ooh, okay. I definitely think we could use a popcorn machine, maybe in a different variant, but I will buy this one. And maybe we'll get Harv's Island or something. And then I'll also buy this teddy bear because it might be cute in someone's house. And if we have it in our um, 
catalog, then I think we can use it in someone's house. Even our own house, we might be able to use it. And then, of course, let's check out the wallpaper and flooring situation. We have this ugly one again. But I think I'm going to buy this white brick wall. I still have no idea what I'm going to do with my house. So I'm kind of just buying wallpapers and hoping that it will work out eventually. But I'm going to buy this flooring too. I think the checkered one is very cute. But yeah, those are some cute options for us maybe down the road. And then the last thing I want to do is head to resident services to pay off our loan and upgrade our house again. Look how cute Sally is. Oh my gosh, she's really growing on me. I did love her beforehand, but she's still super cute and I think I like her even more after having her. Okay, let's log in to the ABD. I do want to pay off my loan, but I also want to check out the Nook shopping because they're bound to have some good items eventually. We have a lawnmower. I do use the air conditioning machine, air conditioner quite a few times in my design so i think that one's pretty good and then everything else i don't need and this time we have a hefty loan so 1.2 million bills down the drain and then i think our next upgrade that we'll just talk to tom nook about in a second is like 2.5 which is absolutely crazy but after this we should be able to fully customize our house completely once we get this upgrade, I think we can do like all the four different little styles and I don't know what I really want to do for my house. I have like maybe an idea for an area around my house, but I don't know what I want to do for like the actual house design, but I do want to expand. Yeah, it's almost 2.5 million, which is so much for just a basement, but I guess if they have to like dig under an already built house, I feel like adding a basement to an already built house would actually be very tough. Um, but I don't think there's really anything else for me to do today. Maybe some dailies. I'll run around, get my bottle and the money rock and everything. But I will catch you tomorrow in, in game tomorrow. And we'll see who our campsite villagers. So I will see you shortly. It is the day that everyone's been waiting for in this video specifically. It is the day that we get our first ever campsite villager. And I did look at a couple smugs and I'll tell you which ones I'm looking forward to. Oh my gosh, red just creeping in on the background. That was kind of scary. Um, before we go check our campsite, let's check our mail. We get some Happy Home Academy stuff and an outdoor air conditioner that we did buy yesterday. So it's good that we got it. What did Happy Home Paradise send us? Oh, a yucca. We can probably use this somewhere. I like using the plants. Especially in the house, so we might even be able to use it in my house. And then I'll just place our air conditioner there. And I'm too excited, let's run over to the campsite. The time has come to check out who we get for our campsite villager. I have two hopes. The two that I would think of that could kind of fit the island would either be Cephalobot or um, Pietro. I think a clown would be kind of cute for a Halloween island. So either of those are who I'm looking for. Anyone else, we will have to kick out. So I guess without further ado, let's just get this over with, like ripping a bandaid off. Uh, it's Quilson. No! Quilson does not fit at all. And honestly, he's one of my least favorite ducks. I really like the duck villagers and Quilson kind of ruins that for me. He ruins like the whole species. He might be the worst duck. But yeah, we have to invite him, so you should live here. We will definitely be kicking him off at some point. So yeah, but we do have to invite him. So let's go talk to Tom Nook. Let's get this over with and tell Tom Nook that Quilson would like to move to the island. I did it or he wants to live here. Both sound very excited, which I am not, but I'll guess I'll go with he wants to live here because it's kind of like he wants to. I don't want him to, but he wants to. But I'm glad we don't have to pay for this housing plot, even though we have to pay for the rest, which is kind of weird when you think about it. Like Tom Nook is the owner of the island and he's the one that wants KK Slider to come to the island, but I'm the one that has to pay for the plots. Make it make sense. Let's see if we can get this house plot to fit over with the other houses that we have on this side of the island. Ooh, actually, did we get any green pumpkins? Ugh, still no green. I might just get green pumpkins from a treasure island. Will Quilson's house fit right here? It might be too close to the beach, but we can try it. 
Ooh, it does fit here. Okay, this is a spot. I should have actually moved him like very far away from me, but that's okay. He can live here. But friends, that's going to be the end of the video. We did our main goals. We got the museum open and we got a campsite villager to come to the island. Even though it's not someone we wanted, we still managed to do it. But when the video for tomorrow is ready, it will be over on the screen for you. I hope to see you there either tomorrow or sometime in the future. But yeah, if it's ready, it will be right here for you. Alright, bye friends!